G'day guys, it's Mark here from North Oz and I'm with Dad at the moment who's uh, who's on the camera. Thanks Dad. And uh, we're doing a bit of a boys trip. We're going to be picking up, hopefully, well we're going to be checking out today. A, uh, we've got a line. We've got a line on a couple of Land Cruisers that apparently have come in. They're the last Land Cruisers. After this, they're actually stopping production uh, for quite some time. We don't know how long and we also uh, don't know how long the orders will be if I wanted to order a Land Cruiser. So this really is the last time that, you know, last chance really that we'll be able to uh, test drive and also buy a new Land Cruiser. So we're having a look, we're taking the Hilux up now. We don't know um, if, what they even have up there. We don't know what stock is there. So it's going to be a pretty exciting time. So I'm glad that we can take you guys along with us. We're going to be test driving a few cars and uh, yeah, it might give you guys our thoughts at the end of this video. So stick around, it's going to be a good one. So this here is the Workmate, surprisingly, because it's got a few nice little things on it. This is the, the Workmate 79 dual cab. This one doesn't have a tray on it, but I really like these steel wheels. They look pretty cool. They're like a little bit of a gray color. And then you got the got the vinyl interior as well, which is pretty nice. And you see there's no diff locks on this one either. And then, um, yeah, you got a snorkel up top. It's very nice, has a nice sound to the doors as well. And the chrome there again, a little surprising because I thought that the workmates wouldn't have that. Good sounding door there. This one doesn't have a tray on it, but it's very similar to the one that we are going to be getting, which is very exciting. And yeah, so it's got the vinyl seats on it. I'll be doing more of a walk around of this vehicle when I get it. And you see it's got the big 2023 side markers on there. What do you think about them, Dave? You like very the... Nice. I like, actually think it's pretty retro having the, the big side marker on there. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I think that's pretty cool. And big hood scoop as well. I thought that had only got a big hood scoop for the um, GXL, but um, goes to show you how much I know about Land Cruisers at this point. And uh, yeah, so you can kind of get a bit of an idea. I'll be changing out these for some different side view mirrors for sure. It's got a manual uh, antenna as well, which is pretty funny. And these 2023s, which is something I didn't know, is the 2023s do in fact have a um, autonomous braking but you can turn that off uh, but it doesn't have any sensors or anything like that on the front guard so yeah so uh, stay tuned guys because we will be talking about the different uh, spec that we got for this uh, and yeah so yeah, I'll talk to you guys about that about what we actually got with the vehicle and how it's coming is it gonna come like this or is it gonna come with a couple of accessories you guys will have to wait and see very exciting times what do you think of the of the Land Cruiser 79, Dave? Do you like it? I do like it. Yeah. I uh, like the seating position. Seating position is fantastic. It's really high up and um, and quite comfortable. Not as uh, rough as I thought it would be because we went for a drive in it. Maybe just a little bit more rough than the Hilux. A little bit, but it does feel tight. Hmm. And I expected a lot of wind noise inside. I, it wasn't that bad. Not too bad. We got it up to a hundred and there was some yeah. wind noise coming in through yeah. like through the doors. I, I did notice it like through here, but I'm not sure if that's just, yeah, a bit of the wind noise maybe hitting the sill or something. I don't know. But, but I think we had three of us in, in the cab talking. And, no, we can and, hear each other fine. we didn't have to yell. Yeah, still better than patrol. So <laughs> yeah. Yeah, much yeah. better than the patrol. Yeah, no, I reckon it's, um, yeah, I reckon it's a car for life. Oh, yeah. it has to be hundred yeah. percent. I like it. I think it looks fantastic. Yeah, I like it too. And when you get it, you're going to get the bull bar, you're getting the side bars, you're getting the tray. So you're getting all the good stuff. Yeah, so I guess uh, we might as well tell the people what we're doing with it then, should we? I just did. Well, okay. All right. Well, <laughs> well, we'll tell the people what we're doing then. So we're getting rid of the factory bar. We're putting a Toyota bar on it, which is winch compatible. It's yeah. going to some side rails. You see that this doesn't have any plastic flares on it, which is good because that comes with the GXL. So that's good. Didn't want the plastic flares anyway. So we're going to have the scrub rails going to the side here. It's going to join up to a side rail, not a side step because these side steps stay exactly how they are. And then you've got the side rail that meets up down here and then comes around the back here and joins up somewhere, I guess, to the chassis rail. I'm not too sure. Um, I can't see many close-ups of it, but I can see that it looks like a pretty, pretty good, pretty good um, uh, rail and bar system uh, as well. Is that this is all metal. Yeah, that's a metal 100%. metal. And then you have your wheels tucked in nicely underneath that. So that when you hit the rough stuff and all the rocks and stuff are flying out, 
they're not going to make contact to the side of the vehicle. It's going to hit there and hit your. Mm. Yeah. So those mud flaps look a little bit flimsy, but. Yeah, well, you can always yeah. upgrade those. 100%. And with the tray, we're going with a um, genuine galvanized tray. And that is going to uh, not be powder coated. That's just going to be not standard. At this stage. No, not not at this stage. Um, yeah, because we'll talk about pricing and stuff in a later video. So with the galvanized, apparently the uh, dirt and stuff sticks to the surface of the galvanized tray. So powder coating is recommended, but um, we're going to do it without the powder coating. And we can always get it powder coated later on anyway. So it's not yeah, that big of a deal. Right. So, and we yeah. had terrific service from. Um, Adam Call up at um, John Call Toyota and um, all is happy shopping at this place. And yeah. You get such true, terrific service here. Yeah. Two free yeah. cups of coffee. <laughs> anyway, but they're, they're very patient. So they're yes. patient with me and my demands and yeah, um, yeah they're great to buy, buy vehicles yeah, you off. May, yeah. You're going to run with these tires? Oh, I think so. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think they'll look okay. Tough. Yeah. Pretty tough, eh? Yeah, so they're a 225 95 16. Yep. So, um, so, in between, eh? Yeah, so I hope yeah. they come standard because uh, I've seen it standard yeah. on a couple of these that they have in stock. So, I hope that that comes, I hope that comes with it because um, yeah. they are good tyres, though. It's the Bridgestone Jewelers. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, unfortunately, we, we couldn't get the front and rear lockers, mm -hmm. um, but um, we put them in, you can always put mm -hmm. them in as an aftermarket. Yeah. Yeah, so another thing is we couldn't we couldn't get the front and rear lockers, but we um, but we, we'll probably put them in later on anyway as an aftermarket. Bit of a shame we couldn't get the front and rear lockers, but you just got to take what you can get when it comes to the stock at the moment. And we are super lucky that we are able to get stock because it's a, pretty much the last one in the country. Yeah, it's That's the it. last one. That's it. Yeah, it's the last one possibly forever for a long time until the new model comes out so yeah we're just getting a land cruiser while we still can and then we can say happily that we own a land cruiser a proper land cruiser yep uh, not that the prado isn't a proper land cruiser but uh, <laughs> that would cause some problems but well, hey i if... certainly won't be taking my prado places this is going to be going anyway yeah. so you got no worries about that and this is a proper land cruiser yeah it's pretty awesome. So yeah. looking forward to it. And um, yeah, I think that's where we'll end today's video. A bit of an exciting day today. We Very exciting signed day. a few documents and handed over a bit of bit of cash, but we'll uh, we'll be yeah. all right. It'll be okay. We'll talk yeah. more about the costing of this vehicle later on in an yep. upcoming cost breakdown video. So if you guys want to see that, make sure you subscribe and like. And of course, we've got things to do on this vehicle too. So there's going to be a build on it. So make sure you guys are following along. And um, yeah, we'll do a couple of camping trips with it, stock to see how it is, and then we'll add a few little things as time goes on. Yep. Yeah, it should be a good time. Should be a good time. Yeah. yeah, building it, camping in it, thrashing it. Should be a good time. All right, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you very shortly in the next video. And I guess the next video will probably be taking delivery. So that will be, yeah, that'll be interesting. a huge day. So yep. yeah, so awesome boys trip today. Yeah. We had a good time. Yeah, we had a good time. Yeah, so all right, we'll see you guys soon. Catch you in the next one. See you in the next one. Okay. Yeah.